Hello Believers, in this video we will learn some strategy to sell the rank up players and fix unable to sell players in FC Mobile. Furthermore, all these topics are covered throughout this video. 1. How to sell rank up players in FC Mobile. 2. Upcoming best investment to earn 1 to 200 million plus of coins. So Believers, the video is going to be absolutely amazing. And for more amazing contents like this, make sure you have subscribed to the channel as once we reach the 200ka subscribers. Milestone, there will be huge giveaway especially for our subscribers only. Now let's move to point number one. How to sell rank up players in FC Mobile. So a lot of you were asking me how we can sell rank up players in FC Mobile. I am trying my best to give you some strategy to sell your rank up players. To be honest, I am telling you in the beginning, it's actually possible to sell them, but you really should have a lot of patience to sell them, and it's really going to be difficult to sell rank up players. Anyway, let's go through three different steps to sell the rank up players. Remember that step three is really going to take less time and work for sure. So don't miss step three. Now, moving to step one, check all the rank up demand and supplies. Your first task is to put your player into a watch list. For example, I have blue rank up with Ronaldo. So I am putting him on a watch list to make it easier to observe him. As per my observation, I am going to discuss three types of players cases. This is players case one. Observe how much sales are there in each and every rank level of Ronaldo. In the green rank up level, the supply is only one or two, so it's actually going to be much easier to sell him. But our assumption is like we have blue rank Ronaldo and we can't degrade rank up of any player. So checking his blue rank up, he has 35 sales right now. Let's jump to purple rank and observe supply and demand. There are 173 supplies and you can't sell him in this rank up. In the red and orange rank up version, there is also a high supply. So at the moment, it's going to be very difficult to sell him. I have included these kinds of players in the high supply rank up players category, and it is actually difficult to sell them. Now, I will try to say some solution in another point, but first let's see players case 2 and 3. Player case 2. The reason I am suggesting you to check each and every rank up version is, because the players like Zidane have the demand in his purple rank up or orange rank up. So, if I rank him to purple rank then, I can easily sell him as there is actually demand. But remember that Zidane price is literally down a lot at the moment, so it's better you hold him as you can get better profit in the future. And usually in the player's cases, like Zidane, it's not good to try to rank him up to purple rank up just for selling, because in his blue rank also, the supply is very less at the moment, like only one supply. So if you try to sell him now also, he can get sold. That's the reason firstly. I suggest you try to sell him before using the ranking up technique. I have included these kinds of players in the less supply rank up players category, and it is actually easy to sell them but usually they have low market value so, you will be at a loss. And if you wait for them to rise to a higher price then, there will be excessive supply so you can sell them at a higher price too, but it's actually going to be difficult to sell once they reach a higher price as everyone will. Try to sell players at the max price for the maximum profit. Player Case 3 you can see in the case of Rodri you can rank up to the red version and sell him since in each and every rank up level of the Rodri is high supply. At this moment it's not possible to sell him in those rank up versions. I have included these kinds of players in the high supply rank up players but actually have demand in the level 4 or 5 rank up version. It's possible to sell them but you actually have to rank up them at first to a certain level and remember it's going to be a waste of Mascarano or it will take a huge number of Mascarano to rank them up. But you can gamble with one Mascarano to rank them up. Remember one thing that you will lose a very huge amount of Mascarano in this type of situation, so if the case is like that, then follow step two. Observe the players and be patient. In step one, you saw three types of players with different situations. So if the player situation is like Zidane, then I know well. It's easy to sell, but if the player is like Ronaldo and Rodri, then it's actually going to be difficult for you to sell. I can't say you're difficult also, it's extremely difficult. So what's the solution? See, the solution is only wait for them to drop them to the minimum price like we can see. Zidane is literally dropped a lot right now, and you can actually sell him. So it's going to take some time to drop in value. Additionally, I would suggest you keep using the refresh time trick to sell them. The Ronaldo and Rodri might get refreshed every two hours and you can try to sell them. Make sure to bid them at the minimum price when selling. Right now, you can see the recent bid on Ronaldo is 391 million, and after his price got refreshed, his minimum price for selling is still not changed. So you have to observe the refresh time of Ronaldo and make a bid first than others in the minimum price when his minimum price gets changed. So if you want to sell them at a higher price, then there is no option other than using a refresh time trick. And you have to try this trick on each refresh. After that also, it's going to be extremely difficult. Personally, I haven't tried to sell the players, so I have no idea whether they will really get sold or not. Just use it and you may be able to sell it. 
If you don't know how to use the refresh time trick then, I suggest you check out this video. Now if you don't have patience and try to use shortcuts then use step 3. So step 3 is going to be much easier to sell but making a simple mistake can pay you a huge loss. Right now you can see the blue rank up. Ronaldo is selling at minimum 391 million and max price is 432 million. So just set a random price where no one can make a bid. Like in the 400 million no one can expect to make a bid, right? So sell on 400 million. Now the next step is, convince your friend to buy your blue rank Ronaldo. You can find some people who still want to enjoy the Ronaldo card, and you can convince them to buy your rank up player. If you are able to agree with them then, I am sure you will successfully sell your rank up player. Now, if you are searching for the one who can actually buy your rank up players then, don't forget to join our Discord server where you can find 18k people of the FC Mobile, and you can make their good friends and start dealing with these issues and take help regarding FC Mobile. I hope I have solved each and every queries and doubts. I have literally given a lot of effort for this video, so please make sure to give a one like as that really motivates me a lot. Now let's move to point number two. Upcoming best investment to earn one to 200 million plus of coins. So for the upcoming best investments, I have divided the investment into two parts. Let's get through one by one with details. Point one, short term, high profitable investment. So tomorrow is Thursday, and EA is going to launch all these new Centurions players. You can find, here in the quest pack, after this much time frame all these players will be available in the market, and I suggest you to snipe some of them. Now, whom to snipe is going to totally depend on the market situation and their stats. Anyway, most of them are going to have 999 plus demand, and they will be giving you very high profit in a very short period of time. Within just 24 to 48 hours, you will be able to get good profit from them. So you can go for them. In my guess, the Muller, Thiago Silva, and Giroud can be good investments, but up to now, stats is not released, and it's difficult to predict. So, I am also going to wake early to snipe on them, and I will update you on the Discord server on which players to invest. The 88-89 rating players can be good too, in case they will have 2 million value. 88 and 89 Centurions can reach 3.8 million plus value. Now, some people are saying, like my last crash investment failed, and I always give a loss to you guys, I don't know how dumb these people can be. Literally, you can see these all are the players I suggested you to do as a crash investment. And just look at this. Most of them are already in the rising phase, and some have even started falling down. You can sell the ones which have slight down spikes. Looks like some people are doing crash investment today and searching for profit tomorrow. Literally, I am giving free investment tips and doing whole research stuff for F2P players, even sacrificing my main account. It's been one month, I have never sniped the players in my main account just because I am getting a lot more busy and giving good value. But how silly they can be, like investment getting failed and saying like I always give loss. See, in the investment, you always have to be very patient. You are not wasting money in the game, so you will not get things very quickly. You have to be very patient, and then only you can be a successful investor. Just for F2P players, I have merged 18k people in our Discord server. You can go there to learn and do many things. I don't know whether I am doing wrong or right for anyone, but I can say that I am always with F2P players, and my intention is always to help them as much as I can. Anyway, let's move to point two. High risk investment. So the high risk investment is surely the UCL investment. This investment is going to take a little bit of time to get maximum advantage if you want to invest in them. So first I want to talk about yesterday's UCL matches. The UCL match went really unexpectedly. I was expecting Atletico and Barcelona to enter into the semi-final, but literally PSG and Dortmund performed too good. Anyway, I said to you in the previous video, UCL is unexpected, so invest after only you get results. You can find that there is still demand in the PSG and Dortmund players right now. Now the PSG and Dortmund players will rise for sure. So I suggested to you yesterday also that if Barcelona and Atletico wins the quarter-final, then, invest in the team. But exactly the opposite happened as Dortmund and PSG are in the semi-final. Both of them will receive plus one over upgrade. The next fixture between Dortmund and PSG is on the 30th of April and May 7th. So this investment is going to be long term, and you really need much more patience. Since the quarter-final result is already out, there will be plus one over upgrade in both of these teams, and after that you may get a profit. I suggest you not wait for another rating upgrade. I mean, don't wait for the semi-final match result because until that time you will find the price will drop. So once the OVR upgrade for the reaching semi-final happens and they will reach a profitable price, I will suggest you to sell the UCL investment. Now you might ask, should we choose a team which has potential to reach a final? I think no. 
you have made the right decision by investing in whichever winning team yesterday. Now, once OVR upgrade happens, you can sell them. And actually, for the another UCL investment, you can do it on May 7th when the result between these two teams' semifinal gets out. Now, Thursday also, there is a match between these four teams. And right now, I really don't suggest you to invest in the UCL players because it's very much risky. You know well that in the leg one, the Atletico and Barca were leading, but in the leg two, Dortmund and PSG just shocked everyone. So this time also, there is no fixed or sure. Winning team. If you really want to do UCL investment then, just watch the match between them today. After the result comes, I suggest you invest in the winning team. If you want the good players to invest in then, I will publish it in the Discord server you can join the Discord server. The link is in the description section. Whatever the thing is, I suggest you use the sniping technique and invest in the newly launched Centurions players as they are short-term investments which give a high profit. In conclusion, UCL investment is looking risky, and I am preferring you not to invest much coins as it's going to take much more time for the upgrade and getting high profit. So if you want to invest then, only do investment after the match results comes. So yeah, my believers bros, that's it for today's video, and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos. Thank I will meet you with the next one, till then your lovely host Mr. Believer signing out.